Face Wear Retargeter is the sort of final piece of the face wear pipeline, and it's the, the fun part. It's the part where the animation actually gets applied to the character, where you're taking the data that you've acquired from tracking the face within Face Wear Analyzer, and an animator is applying that data onto a 3D facial rig. It allows you to take facial data of an actor's movement and artistically define how you want that to come across in a facial animation. The skilled hand of an artist is going to interpret how that original performance is going to map onto their character. But what the animators actually do is, their job is to define a relationship between an actor and a facial rig. When this actor raises their eyebrows, or when they smile, you know, or when they go ooh like this, what is that going to look like on a character rig? The role of the artist is to make poses that translate how the performance should be applied to that character. That can be one-to-one, -one, that could be augmented. It's really up to the artist. The job of the animation team is to define how that transfers across. So you do that through setting key poses on the rig, and Retargeter is gonna look at those poses, and it's gonna sort of learn from you as you go. And by setting a small number of poses, it can actually go ahead and fill in the rest of the in-betweens of the entire shot for you. So it's sort of getting all the heavy lifting out of the way and leaving all the fun stuff to the animators. It's a fun tool. It's, it's a plug-in into a package that, that artists already know, um, that they're already familiar with. They know how to animate Maya, Max, Softimizer, Motion Builder. So by just having the software as a plug-in rather than a standalone tool, it, it obviously cuts down on your, on your training time and, and ramp up time for any new artist or any new user. Facewear Retargeter has been designed from the ground up to be versatile, to work with any type of character rig in any package. You know, this is not something that you have to use a special rig with. There are no special plugins involved in the characters. There's very little impact to your pipeline. The challenge of facial animation is you may have three or four or ten people working on the same character. So as, as a creative lead, you're going to want the animation to look like it was produced by one artist. So there's been a, a whole suite of tools designed to essentially create a consistent performance every time. Use the same poses, use the same controls in the same manner. The output of Facewear Retargeter is not final animation. That's not really its intention. Its intention is to get you a very, very far along blocking pass as quickly as possible so that you can go in there and focus on the polish on the stuff that really matters, on that last 5%, to really get the strong, you know, subtle uh, movements of the face that really make performances read and bring characters to life. I think the, the, the strongest part of Retargeter is that it was designed by animators. They, they said, look, we want the tool to be able to do this, and that's what the development team did. It was a bunch of people animating in production with deadlines, with things they needed to get done, with actual, you know, productions going on saying, hey, I need this feature, I need this to happen. In order to make better animation and to get my job done by this deadline, I need this to happen. So all of the design has come out of that sort of environment and it's enabled the tools to get to a place where it's a very intuitive workflow. We've used this software in production for over seven years. And now that same piece of software that's continually being upgraded and, and improved can now be in your hands in your studio.